Hello and welcome. My name is Gerd and this session is sponsored by CI Hub. Now this tutorial is about how to use data merge with a CI Hub connector. I would like to show you how to make the most of your metadata content without leaving your Adobe application. With the InDesign data merge, which is, by the way, a standard feature in InDesign, you can do really amazing things. And with a little bit of grab style, you get your formatting jobs done within seconds. I have split this session into five topics. Number one, some basics to get started. The second, data records for ads or layouts with lots of data. Number three, data records to pre-compose products for catalogs. Number four is about bulk operations for ads or social media. And number five is update your content with just one click. So let's start with some basics. The amount and type of metadata always depends on your connection. That is, in this case, our source system. It could be a PIM with lots of data in it and various content languages, or a DAM, or what I'm going to use now, a Dropbox. But it works also with other cloud storage systems. But let's start with step one. Select your products. In the list view, you can sort your products. This could be important if the records should be produced in a defined order. Then tap the CSV export button. There are two options for that. Download files will add the images to your export. Open export folder brings up your folder. This could be helpful for the update, but I will explain that later on. So this is how it looks like. The export with a timestamp and an ID. You can also create the CSV export without your assets in case if you're doing an update. But please remember, you will need the assets if you want to produce a PDF or a PNG, etc. Now step two is connect the export with the InDesign data merge. Step three, check your variables and their content by creating a text container and drag the variables into it. Hit the preview button to check your content. For image variables, create an image container and drag the image variable into it and do a preview. Click through the records to check the result. I have prepared a product template with some paragraph and character styles and a bit of grep. And this is the result. It makes changing font size, color, placement options and all other settings so much easier. Keep in mind, we don't want to use this product template for only one output channel. So preview the content and let's try to create multiple products in this layout. Just do some settings and that's it. You can select all records or a range of records or ranges separated by a comma with a space in behind. And with a minimum of grep style, you can extend your formatting quite easy, like superscript, kerning, etc. And ensure that your formatting is flexible regarding width or height. So we're good to go. Let's move on to our second topic. How to use a single record for ads. I've prepared a document, so do not make fun of my design skills. And the CSV export is connected. Let's do a preview and walk through some records. Looks quite good. Let's have a look at a layout with 36 metadata fields. That's cool, isn't it? And even if there is a bullet point text, just use a bit of prep style and your formatting is done. So let's move on to multiple records on pre-composing. 
So I don't know if pre-composing is the best word for what I'm doing here, but I think you'll understand the goal. Let's open another InDesign doc and let's say we want to create a brochure with a mood image on the left page and products on the right page. So this is how it goes. Check the spacing between columns and rows and you're done. Now you can preview the pages you're going to create. Click on OK and that's it. Let's say we need another layout. The mood image at the top of your double page and the products below. Works within seconds. The next topic is let's produce some ads or social media posts. And we need to have different formats, square, portrait, landscape or whatever sizes. Off we go. I'm going to produce a merge document with 20 products for each of the three formats. It will take a few seconds, but at the end we have just created 60 documents. And we are ready to create 60 PNG files. And we're done. That's really cool. Let's have a look into it. That looks great. So let's switch to our last topic, how to update our document we've just created. It's quite easy. Select your products again, do the export and watch this. There is a product where the image and text have been changed and only this asset will be temporarily downloaded. You can now change the file name of the CSV export like I'm doing here, save the old one and rename the new export or connect the new export to data merge. You can go either way. Select update data source and that's all. So let's do a short wrap up. With the CI Hub connector and InDesign, you use approved content, you pre-compose products to simplify your layout process, you do content updates within seconds, you work smarter and save time. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, please send me an email or visit us at cihub.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.